and then you just paste in that jazz and hit enter you don't even have to go through all this steps but then you're gonna have to paste that jazz in every time you want to open audacity that's why we created our own file what is good people it's your girls drive coming back at you with another tutorial tuesday here for your liking um we got we got some audacity going on today a lot of people have the updated version of of Mac OS with the, the 10.15 I got 0.2 right now um, yeah if we come into audacity right now and I just open it up like normal and try to use the monitor and say start monitoring nothing comes up nothing's working even though I'm on my Scarlet I'm on I checked my, my stereo we're on the sky everything's right we click record and nothing happens and it's just like okay why and a lot of you have gone into your settings and you go into system preferences and you change your permissions and you allow audacity to use the permissions but it still doesn't work and you're like okay well what's what's going on here so first you're gonna have to close out audacity make sure it's nice nice and nice and closed and gone nothing's there second second thing you can do you need to open up finder we're gonna go to computer once you're there in computer you're going to want ah you're going to want to go into your Mac HD it might say HDD it's going to have that little this icon you're going to want to find that it's not you know any USB drives or anything you have plugged in it's not network it's not you know my uh terabyte hard drive no it is Mac HD you're going to look for applications and this is the folder you want to be in so just open up that folder make sure you're in applications it's got the little a icon that's how you that's how you know you're in the right spot see how it's got the little a right yeah that a that's what we're looking for that's how you know you're in the right spot moving forward once you are in here hit the logo key in the space bar on our computer to open up our spotlight search if that's not there there should be a little search icon up here in the corner for you and that'll also open up spotlight you want to open up your text edit okay once your text edit's opened, you want a new document. And here's what you're gonna do. First things first, this is super important. You have to format this, okay? You have to make as plain text. And you notice instantly all the edited stuff is gone. And there's reasons why we're gonna do that. Now, in here, you're gonna put some jazz. That's the jazz. It's in the description if you wanna go copy it. And then once you do that, just, just as like a safe, safe test you want to make sure it's not rich text it should say make a rich text you don't want you want plain text okay if for whatever reason you can edit the the fonts and you can edit the yeah no you don't want to be able to do that i promise it's just make it plain it should say dot txt it's another way of double checking now this is saying that it's going to open the applications folder and within the applications folder there's an audacity app in the contents there's mac os and there's audacity now that's what we want you want to make sure that in your applications folder audacity is in there if it's not in there you got a problem uninstall it and reinstall it and do it again and then come back to this video now once you're once you're at that point your audacity you know audacity is in your applications that's all good you put in the jazz remember this is in the description once the jazz is in there you're gonna save this you're gonna go save it it's gonna say oh well what do you want to save it as we're gonna do the default unicode utf8 that's fine no big deal but where are we gonna save it well we're gonna save it in our applications folder but I'm gonna save it in the desktop for right now I'm gonna call it now let's let's call it odd one two three and I'm gonna I'm gonna call it that on purpose uh, you can pretty much name it whatever you want okay but I would do it something simple we'll get to why I'm naming it odd one two three in a minute but I wouldn't name it audacity you might confuse the computer maybe you name it audacity 2 I don't know but name it odd one two three that's what I'm doing and I'm gonna save it to the desktop that's where it default saved it you can pretty much save it anywhere as long as you know how to get to it once you've saved it you can close out text editor you don't need text editor anymore oh, close now let's get to the desktop so can hide this hide this hide this hide the hide this hide, hide nope just minimize that I don't need that anymore that was my test from earlier now we're on the desktop hi welcome so here we go we have our odd file and we're going to bring this into that applications folder real simple yes oops and there you have it 
By the way, if you're wondering how I just how I just snapped like that, it's because it's because I have magnet installed. If you don't have magnet, you should get it. I'm gonna link that in the description as well. Oh, it's just it's just awesome. Yeah, magnet's pretty nice. But anyway, now we have odd one two three right there. Now the first things you can do is you gotta you gotta rename it. So just clicked it once, remove the text, but you keep the little dot. That dot's gotta be there. We're gonna change it to command. Now keep text or use command. We'll use command. That's why we're doing it. Notice the icon just changed. It's a different icon now. And if I hit spacebar, my jazz should be the same. Your jazz should be the exact same. I'm gonna show you what I was talking about earlier. If I change this back to text and we say use text and then I edit this file and my format isn't plain text and then I save it and I close this and then I go into here and I go to do it and it's not text it's RTF and then I change it to command and I say use command and I hit space but what did it do to my jazz what did it did you see do you see how it just jazzed up your jazz yeah no it's already jazz you don't need to jazz it up twice so we, we can to fix that if that's what happened to you just open with text editor just go into your format make plain text say okay then save it and then close it and there you go we're back to normal right oops whoa see jazz love it awesome cool now if you go to open it it should work psych your computer's not gonna let you open command files are you kidding me because it thinks you're a hacker you're trying to break your computer because mac is just awesome like that and it says to go to file get info but because mac sucks they're gonna i'm, I'm kidding mac is awesome but they're, they're lying to you that's not where you go this is what you got to do so now you got to go a step further than that okay so let's just close out some unnecessary stuff here and here's here's where it gets it, it got so oh my gosh it took me so long to figure this out but here's what you do we're gonna open up our spotlight search again and now we're gonna open up terminal okay and here we here we are in terminal here's what we're gonna do we are going to say ch M O D space seven five five space. Then we're going to go over to here. We're going to click this, and then I'm hitting the uh, command tab, and then it pops that up to bring it over to here. But if you if you don't have if you don't like shortcuts, I mean you can just drag this shorter, and we can bring this over here, and we can just uh, yeah, just drag that in, paste it right there. See, ta-da. So it should look like that for you. CH mod 755 applications and then the name of whatever it was. Okay. I will I would do that. I would do that again for you all here just so you can all see. We're doing the CH mod and we're spacing and we're typing in 755 and I'll get to why it's 755 in a second and you hit space and then you you drag in your file. I don't know why it keeps putting that there. Okay. Oh, that's just the cursor. Okay. And that's what it should look like. It should look something very similar to that. Whatever your username is, and then the, that you can't change. And then chmod 755 applications odd command. When you hit enter, it looks like nothing happened. But when I open this command file up, it's going to open that up. And notice at the bottom, Audacity just opened all by itself. We're going to click in here. And when we click start monitoring, hold on, let me turn my speakers down. When we click start monitoring, oh boy, we got input and we can record. Oh, what, what? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Now, this will work as long as you don't close Audacity. Now, if I quit Audacity and I quit the terminal applications that opened up and then I open up Audacity, it's it's not gonna work you can't you can't make it work from here that's not how it works because every single time you open it you have to tell the computer that it's okay to use the microphone now they're probably gonna patch this up pretty soon anyway so it's not a big deal but this is this is how you fix it you can just drag this file right to here for I, can, I don't know why you can't drag it to this side maybe because it's not an actual application but you can drag it to this side over here on your dock and then you can just you can actually just remove this from doc altogether and then you can close this out you say okay well I want to open up audacity you just open this up it'll pop up two terminal tabs and then audacity automatically opens 
You can just minimize your, your tabs and there you go. You got Audacity and you got monitoring. It works. You can even change your input to Soundflower if you all know what that is. And then open up your um, audio MIDI, MIDI settings and then output your device. I'm not going to right now because I don't want to mess with my recording. But you can just out use this for output. And then it'll pop into here and you can record whatever the output is of your computer if you've installed Soundflower. This is where we got the 755 from. So before I let you go here, I just want to tell you that it's a three number. I'm going to link this in the description uh, because without these guys, I would have never figured out how to do this. Um, so this is, this is where I figured it out. You need to be able to execute. So that seven is for execute and the 55 is for executing as well. The first one is for owner, the second one is for group, and the third one is for everyone. So 755. And that's where we got that 755 from. And they go in and they show you how to do it. And they showed you everything that I just showed you how to do it. So if you want to read more about that, this link is in the description. Shout out Mac Instruct. You guys are awesome for posting this article. I, I thoroughly impre uh, uh, I thoroughly appreciate this article and everything it had to offer. I read this whole thing and it was great. It was nice to know. Uh, you can't do it from this menu like we talked about earlier. It just doesn't let you for whatever reason, but it will let you do it from the terminal application. So that is that is how I figured it out. So if you go to Audacity's website, they actually have a post that tells you about this. Um, and I'm going to see if I can contact them and let them know about this little trick to make it even better. Uh, so that maybe maybe they can show a way that will help other people because uh, this took me like two months of not using I was using logic for literally everything it was kind of annoying because I don't really like to open up logic because it's just it just seems unnecessary I really like audacity and I, sometimes I just want to use audacity especially because a lot of you are you know you, your levelator is gone because of uh, the same problem you know, you can't open up 32-bit applications anymore. So now, now a lot of you don't have Levelator. So you might want to start looking into Audacity. Well, a lot of you aren't looking into Audacity because the same problem. You can't use it. Um, so people are turning to things like probably like more native Mac software like GarageBand or Logic. So hopefully this will help you out. I'm going to try to like show them exactly what I just showed you guys so that they can update this. But that is where I found this jazz. This is their solution as of right now, that, that this is what you have to do. You have to go to the applications, launch a terminal application, and then just type that in. And you could do that. I mean, that is, that is another way to do it. If we close out uh, Audacity, and, and then we close out uh, Terminal, and then we just open up Terminal, and then you just paste in that jazz and hit enter. You don't even have to go through all these steps, but then you're gonna have to paste that jazz in every time you wanna open Audacity. That's why we created our own file. If we were to record some sample audio in here and then stop and then for whatever reason, if you quit the terminal application, it's going to, it's going to be like, are you sure? And you say terminate. Well, it just closed out Audacity. And, and you got to be careful with that because now if we open up Audacity again, it's going to have a recover program installed, but that might not always save the day. So make sure that you are, are paying attention to saving and exporting your Audacity projects properly and, and you really, cause you really don't want to mess that up. But yeah, that, that is my little review and tutorial for you this Tuesday. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed that because it took me a little bit of figuring out on how to do. And now that I know how to do it, I just I just want to show everyone. I'm like, hey, guys, like use. Hey, that's the microphone I'm using to record this right now. Um, I just want to show you guys, you know, like, hey, this is this is how you do it. Uh, yeah, I also, you know, shout out, make it make tech easier. I'll put them in the description, too. They are the ones that showed me how to get the the file name in the right spot. I can delete this now. But yeah, thank you for watching. I, I hope you have a wonderful day using Audacity. Peace.